In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve physics problems associated with the beak frequency. Whenever two sound waves with a frequency that's very close to each other, whenever they're close together, they can produce a beat frequency. And to calculate this beat frequency, it's simply the absolute difference of the two frequencies. So it's going to be 436 minus 425. So in this example, the beat frequency is 11 hertz. And so that's all you got to do for this problem. Here's the second problem. A sound wave at a frequency of 360 hertz produces 32 beats in 4 seconds when interacting with a vibrating tuning fork. What is the beat frequency? So frequency is defined as the number of cycles that occur per second. So if you take the cycles and divide it by the time, then you can get the frequency. In this example, the cycles are the number of beats. So there's 32 beats that occur in a time period of 4 seconds. So the beat frequency is 32 divided by 4, which is 8 beats per second. So that's the beat frequency. What are the two possible frequencies of the vibrating tuning fork? So the vibrating tuning fork is going to be 8 hertz away from this particular sound wave. It can be 360 plus 8, which is 368 hertz. Or it could be 360 minus 8, which is 352 hertz. So this frequency with this one will produce a beat frequency of 8 because they differ by 8 units. And if these two are next to each other, they will also produce a B frequency of 8. So the tuning fork can be any one of these two numbers. Number 3. A tuning fork produces a beat frequency of 5 Hz with a 415 Hz sound wave. When placed near a sound wave oscillating at 426 Hz, a beat frequency of 6 Hz is generated. What is the frequency of the tuning fork? So let's focus on the 415 frequency. If a beat frequency of 5 hertz is produced with this sound and a tuning fork, that means the frequency of the tuning fork could be two numbers. It could be 415 minus 5, which is 410, or it could be 415 plus 5, which is 420. Now, when placing a tuning fork next to a 426 hertz a sound, the beat frequency is 6 hertz. So it could be 426 plus 6, which is 432, or it could be 426 minus 6, which is 420. In order to produce a beat frequency of 5 and 6 with these two sound waves, then the tuning fork has to be 420, because that's the only frequency that matches with these two values. It's the only one that's the same for both of them. So that's the frequency of the tuning fork. That's how you can find it. 